Okay, in this tutorial, um, I am going to demonstrate how to smooth out your connecting curves. So for example, we drafted our back bodice and there's a back neck and we also drafted the front bodice and there's a front neck. We need to make sure when our shoulder seams are sewn together that our back and front neck are a nice smooth curve and not a funny pointy shape. So to do this, I'm actually gonna copy and paste the back and front bodice. Um, so I'll just select it and say Command C or Control C, Control V, and I'll use my space bar to move it over. And there's the copy of the front. I'm gonna grab the back, Control C, Control V, space bar. Whoopsies. Let's grab that one. Space bar it and grab it. Um, I'm gonna lay them, you know, as if I was gonna sew them. So. Um, in order to do that, I'm going to have to flip one horizontal. So I just click that button. And then now I'm going to rotate this guy so that I can actually line up my two shoulder seams. So I'm going to start by moving it. And then I'm going to hit the why that one point is selected, because that's the pivot point I'm going to want to rotate this guy on. Um, he's still selected, so I'm going to hit the rotate button. Oh, you know what? I guess I did not hit the rotate shape button. Cancel. Okay, I'm going to zoom in. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh no, cancel, cancel. Click. Okay, that point is definitely selected now. Now I can hit my rotate button and I can grab any other point and it will pivot on that point. So you can see what is selected is the purple shape and I'm rotating it and the red is like the temporary placement of the purple shape. And I'm kind of matching it up to that green one. Yeah, that's where I want it to go. Okay, right off the bat, it's kind of a funny curve shape. It's not really that smooth. Maybe there's my armhole one. So great, let's fix it. Um, so to fix it, I'm going to join the two pieces. So I'm going to move it just barely apart. And then there's a join button. I click one and I click the other one and I say, yes, please join. Um, okay, now I'm going to use my smooth tool. Let's see how easy this is. Click, click. Okay, I don't really like that curve. I think that's even worse. So I need to add some more points here. So let's go ahead and hit Control Z for edit undo. And I want to hit O actually. Okay, when I hit O, it showed some of my non grading points. Um, I might actually, just for now, um, double click them and make them grading points. Okay. Okay. So let's try that smooth. So I'm going to hit O so the non grading ones go away. And I'm going to grab my smooth tool again and click the one point, the end point. Um, Hmm. Oopsies. Bring it back. Um, hmm. Well, maybe that's better. Yeah, that's nice. I don't completely dislike that. So I'm going to right click to set it. So that's my new curve. It definitely flows to the back. See where this back, it, ha it used to have kind of this angular line. That's not very attractive. It'd be better if it was smoothed out. So this is much better, actually. Um, okay, that's basically. So you want to do the same for the armhole. Really, any curve that gets sewn together, you want to put them next to each other and make sure they're smooth so that when you sew it, it's nice and smooth. You don't have this weird pointy triangle shape when you sew your pieces. All right, and that's the end of this video.